I've been working on the concentric because it's not square, it's not 100%. Um, I've basically cleaned everything up, all the nice edges now. Um, I've been flattening it off on my piece of glass which just coincidentally looks like some bathroom scales <laughs> uh, with some 240 wet and dry and you can see how bad and how much work I've actually got to do on it that side's not too bad uh, but that one is going to take a lot of squaring up Right, there you go. Uh, it ain't perfect. I've got a piece on this corner here which I can't get down any further purely because of the angle that that uh, file cut is actually on. That side's got a piece uh, dink cut out of it there, which I can't obviously get that low. Uh, I've tidied it all up a bit further. So I'm going to get my. Um, what is it now? On my Dremel, I've got one of these, it's basically like a scotch bright pad that I can use to clean those up. And I'm sorry I have to keep stopping, you'll notice that the water dried, I had to go and lie down because my bloody back's hurting again. Or well, my leg. So I'm going to tidy that up, and then I'll call that one near enough done. I've still got to clean all the inside up, but, you know, near enough done. I haven't been recorded. Are you f joking? I've just done 20 minute video and I haven't f***ing recorded. You bastard. I faced that up. These are bronze. The Conrad obviously is um, just steel, uh, but these these bearings are bronze. So I've, I've faced all that up nice and tidy. Uh, I've noticed as well on the crank this bit actually sits on there so it hasn't when this was built that wasn't drilled that wasn't sawn directly in the middle not completely now when I put the two halves together if you know anything about car mechanics this is the sort of thing you come across no you don't Tony you dickhead <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing like car mechanics. Right, that goes on there. Now, there is a slight bit of play. Obviously, it's I can't clamp it down. But it's accentuated because I can't clamp it down. But there is a tiny little bit of play in there. So, when I've done the crank, which I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to put it in the drill, make sure it's, what's the word, concentric? Make sure it's all concentric, uh, tidy it all up, clean it all up, and then I'll put that back in there. And if there's any play on that bearing, what I'll do is I'll take a little shaving off the face. I know it's not the best practice, but you know, that's the only way I can make that bearing a bit smaller to make it a bit tighter on the crank. That's all I can do. So I'm going to clean that up, and then I'm going to, I'm going to come back to these. I have had to shave some off the bushing or bearing or whatever you call it. Uh, there's still a bit of play in there, but it does run true. I might actually take a bit more off, I don't know. If you look at it from the top, it looks completely wrong and wonky because the holes ain't drilled, drilled in the right place. But it does. Like I say, it does run true. That's the, the Conrad, the crank and the concentric um, done. Uh, I've cleaned the screws up actually. They haven't come out bad. I've got to do these. I have got a load of different ones coming, but I don't even know if I've got the right size. So for the time being, I'll just clean these up until the new ones come in. But that's looking nice. So the next... What I'm going to do is the other half of the the concentric uh, that fits on the concentric fits on there, concentric bearing or whatever, and then that goes to the valves, 
uh, which I don't know where I've put. This is basically the valve con control arm. I ain't got a clue what these things are bloody called. Uh, that's going to be easy, but it does need straightening, obviously. So I'm going to do that next. Well, that's all the, the concentric um, valve gear done, although that doesn't look straight still. Bugger. Never mind. I'll straighten it out. Um, Anyway, that's all the concentric done, although that's still not straight. Uh, I've still got to bend it that way just a touch. The the play in it, there's going to be play, there will be play that way, but there is virtually no play now. You can just about see. Just a bit of play, which I can't get rid of. I've um, tried to reduce the size of it just a bit, but... It turns free enough. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, just incidentally, if anyone's got any criticism over anything that I do, just feel free to keep it to your bloody self. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never built, I've never built, I've never repaired, I've never refurbished a steam engine at all in my life. This is all new to me, and everyone's got to start somewhere. This is my starting point. So if you want to criticise what I'm doing, piss off. The next thing I'm going to do is this, which I can't remember where it goes. Oh, it connects to that. Yes, this goes to the slide, what's it thing? There's, there is actually a slide, if you look in the picture, there's a slide that this converts the what's it motion to the what's it motion <laughs> so I'm going to strip that two bolts uh, two nuts strip that and clean that off uh, flat the edges off make that all nice and tidy these are the stands, posts I don't know what you bloody call them now the things that the, the crank sits shits on <laughs> the thing that the crank sits on a bit of play in them so I've got to take that up. Uh, now, these used to be green. That's isopropyl alcohol, um, which I've been soaking it in, and I'm partly off my tits at the minute because of the fumes. Um, I've decided that these were green. I'm going to redo them green, so I'm now soaking the, the flywheel in it. If, if you want me to do it any colour, any different colour, you're quite welcome to piss off. Uh, green's what I've got, green's what I'm doing. So I've got to clean these up. These are bronze again, I think. Purely because they're bearings. So I've got to tidy that up. So I'm going to leave that soaking. That's probably going to take overnight. If you leave it in isopropyl alcohol, it actually bubbles the paint. Well, it bubbles this off because it's cellulose. So, and they've used no primer and no nothing on it. Uh, if I leave that overnight, it'll just bubble. It'll come completely off. I hate using harsh chemicals. I can't stand it. So isopropyl alcohol, although it makes your brain go a bit funny. <laughs> it does the job. I don't know if it's my brain going funny or just if it's that or old age. Could be both. I'm just a bit stupid. That's the problem. Well, it's not really a problem. I'm talking to myself. That's a problem. I've been busy painting. Well, spraying, should I say. Uh, this is obviously the piston cylinder. Um, what's that called? The valve thing. If anyone wants to slag me off, feel free to piss off. Um, I don't know much about steam engines. The valve chamber, something like that. I don't know any of the name of any of these parts. I know where they've come from. I know where they go because I took it apart. Anyway, this is ad. This is actually in three pieces. You've got the piston, um, the cylinder. You've got the valve chamber and also the valve cover, which I can't really show you because it might fall off. So 
that's had um, three coats of etching primer and then three coats of Hammerite Smooth Green which I think is going to look really nice. This is the exhaust port side so that's the bottom that's going to be the top obviously because it's not the bottom so that's drying <laughs> uh, I've got to put it down there I've got the flywheel which has got a beautiful sheen to it now so that's that exactly the same, three coats of that and three coats of that. Uh, that's got to be left 24 hours to dry. Um, oh dear, what have I knocked over? And we've got the crank bearings, uh, which I can't show you because they're attached to a drill. And they've, again, had exactly the same. Nice shine to them. Now, I've been making gaskets uh, for the end caps cylinder end caps so we've got two of those obviously one for one end one for the other oh yeah piston rings or the piston seals which are 13 outside 9 in internal I think everything's all prepped now the only thing I'm waiting for I don't know what to do with these I might actually clean them up with a uh, Dremel and then I don't know, <laughs> I ain't got a bloody clue. I don't really want to spray anything else. They were the only things that I wanted to cover because the, the they stand out the most. Anyway, I've got to wait for the paint to dry. Now, I'd show you a video of it, but it's a bit boring, you know. There's nothing actually about this, this engine that, that, that shows any, any love. The... The quality's there, the machining quality is, is spot on. But there's nothing that actually showed any love for the job. It was just a sort of a, oh, that'll do. Apparently, these, I don't know if these are actually brass or, sorry, they're not brass. They'll be bronze or gunmetal, but I don't know, I don't know the difference. Again, I'm, I'm not... I don't know about metals, ferrous, non-metal, uh, ferrous, non-ferrous, fiction, non-fiction. I ain't got a bloody clue. To me, it's a bloody metal. Some are tougher, some aren't. So, again, feel free to piss off. It's all ready. I've got to leave it 24 hours now to dry for the paint to actually set. So, I can't really do anything until then. The gaskets are done. I can't do the valve chamber gasket because it's wet. This is the base plate which had countersink bloody wood screws in it, uh, which looked rather tacky, so I'm going to replace those. So I'm well on my way. Everything's really prepped. I'm just waiting for the stuff to dry. If you want to see a video on paint drying, let me know.